मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी मिनरल Mineral based industries. It was first as a iron steel industries, which are also known as a basic industries. Iron and steel industries are known as the basic industries. Why? Because these industries are provide as a base to economy. Their products, are products manufactured in a iron and steel industries. Use in other number of industries. For example, for the manufacturing of a machines, we need as iron. Iron needed for a setting up the infrastructure. That's why they are known as a basic industries. Iron and steel industries are crucial for the development of economy of a country and industrialization. So that is why the these are known as a basic industries. All uh, since all other industries are directly dependent on iron and steel industries for their machines and equipments steel is needed for manufacturing of equipments required for mining construction mining construction agricultural machines transportation construction materials medical and scientific equipments defense etc steel industry is classified not only as a basic industry but also as the heavy weight industry it is also a heavy weight industry which is required the raw material in larger quantities which is bulky in nature bulky in nature the factors which are responsible for the country's development is the production and consumption of steel in that particular country india ranks the fourth among the world's crude steel producers in a world economy our 60% in previous chapter we discussed as a 60% of our raw iron 60 percentage of iron india exported directly exported towards as a japan north korea and russia if we start to consume the such kind of the iron for manufacturing of a iron products steel then afterwards as a steel exported to the other economies then it will be the more beneficial for us India is the largest one of the largest producers of a sponge iron in or uh, in world economy in spite of such a large quantity of production of steel per capita consumption of steel this is as the 49 kgs 49 kgs in our economy the consumption of a steel in our economy the most number of a most number of the steel plants these are concentrated towards in a chota nagpur plateau region chota nagpur plateau but before the iron and steel industries they are influenced by the availability of a availability of a iron ore and smelting centers iron smelting is occurred in a blast furnaces blast furnaces in which as a 
आयरन ओर इज मेल्टेड आयरन ओर इज मेल्टेड एट अ 400 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड लाइमस्टोन इज फ्लक्सिंग मटेरियल व्हिच इज एडेड आफ्टरवर्ड्स द स्लैग रिमूव एंड अ मोल्टन फॉर्म ऑफ मोल्टन फॉर्म ऑफ आयरन सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द आयरन ओर व्हिच इज नोन एज अ पिंक आयरन that pig iron is used to manufacturing of a steel when it mix with the manganese chromium and nickel manganese chromium nickel are mixed with the molten form of a iron separated from the iron ore then it can be as a shaped in a different shapes it may be as a transform into as a sheets rods pipes etc clear till there any questions iron and steel industries iron and steel industries are mostly concentrated in a parts of a chota nagpur plateau chota nagpur plateau region are most number of iron and steel industries are concentrated so what are the reasons responsible for what are the reasons responsible for the concentration of concentration of the concentration of iron and steel industries in a chota nagpur region chota nagpur region first reason responsible for the concentration of a iron and steel industries in a chota nagpur region is iron and steel is a weight losing industry iron and steel industries are the weight losing industries these are known as a weight losing industries why because because the heavier material heavy raw material used in a larger quantities after smelting after smelting the less obtained as compared to the raw material as compared to the raw material less product obtained it has extracted to the extracted to the iron ore that's why the iron and steel industry is known as the weight losing industry so that's why as such number of industries are concentrated in a chota nagpur region which is known for the availability of a iron ore availability of iron ore a number of a raw materials a number of raw materials are required for manufacturing of steel manufacturing of steel manufacturing of steel iron ore coking coal and limestone are desired at a ratio of a 4 ratio 2 ratio 1 manganese manganese nearly as the 10 kg of the manganese is required is required to manufacture the 1 ton of steel these raw materials are mined in a chota nagpur plateau that's why as the iron and steel industries are concentrated in a parts of a chota nagpur region fourth one is a heavy industry due to the heavy industry in the same area provide as a market for the steel industries which are associated with the manufacturing of other substances from steel are concentrated in a chota nagpur region that's why as a most number of iron and steel industries are concentrated in chota nagpur region of a south eastern india the efficient network of a transport in the form of a railways available in this region available in this region which has interlinked the it interlink the industries with the port cities it interlink the industries with port cities to which easily through which easily to the availability of a railways easily raw material transported from a mines towards the industry and afterwards the industry towards the ports to the growth of a means of a railways and a roadways which is as a concentrated in a this region of a chota nagpur region the other factors which are responsible for the growth of iron and steel industries in a chota nagpur region as the 
regular supply of uh, electricity. This region is known for the a different number of the mines associated with the, with the Gondwana age of a coal, which has easily extracted from the Jharia, Jharia, Bokaro, Jharia of Jharkhand, Bokaro, Rani Ganj, then the Ra Rani Ganj of West Bengal. Such areas are known for the extraction of a coal. High amount of a power required for a iron and steel industries easily available. Electricity easily available to the Rehand Sagar, which has constructed on a Son River and a Damodar River Valley project. Damodar River Valley project on a Damodar River. And third, Hirakut Dam constructed on a Mahanadi River, concentrated in this region for regular supply of power, easy and cheaper availability of a labor from a densely populated areas of West Bengal, supportive for a growth of. Iron and steel industries in a Chota Nagpur region. Chota Nagpur region. Water, regular supply of water for a cooling of a iron after the smelting, available to the river Subarnareka, Khadkai, river Damodar, river Son River, and Mahanadi River, supplied as a water for a, and Hooghly completes as a water necessity for a iron and steel industries. Clear? Eighth reason as an abundant as abundant skilled labor easily available from the adjoining areas of Bihar, West Bengal, and Urissa, banking, finance, insurance facilities are easily available, nearness to the market, nearness of a port cities, and a twelfth as a presence of a large industrial estates, large industrial estates of a such southeastern parts of a central India, supportive for a growth of iron and steel industries in Chota Nagpur region. These are concentrated in a Chota Nagpur region. Clear? If anybody want to ask question, they have to click their cameras first. Clear, Yan? Afterwards, I will allow it. Click your cameras first. Yes. You don't want to start your camera, Ryan? Then wait for it. So let's ask her. There are, after the 70 years of Indian independence, as the growth of iron and steel industries in a modern India has increased, presently there are the 10, 10 mini integrated steel plants are there. But before of independence, India's first. Iron and steel industry, it was as a setup during as a British age as Tesco, Tata Iron Steel Company at Jamshedpur in 1907 by GN Tata, Jamshedji Nusarwanji Tata, Jamshedji Nusarwanji Tata. The growth of a growth of a iron and steel industries are presently managed by the managed by the Steel Authority of India Limited. Steel Authority of India Limited, the public sector agency responsible for the responsible for the management of a, responsible for the management of a iron and steel industries. Iron and steel industries. Clear? Iron and steel industries. Next, presently there are the total 10 integrated steel plants are there. Integrated steel plants are there, which are function in present to complete our need of a iron, production of a iron and a manufactured goods. Manufactured goods. So their names are, names are, name of, Name of steel plant, steel plant, where is its location, 
it slides under the which state presently as which has managed under the which control public sector or private sector except that tisco rest of the all are managed by the public sector tisco is only managed by the private sector entrepreneurs so first is a tisco t i s c o tata iron steel company set up at jamshedpur jamshedpur of jharkhand jharkhand which is in a private sector private sector agency private sector agency second is isco isco iron indian iron indian iron and steel company steel company isco double i s c o isco set up at the set up at the burnpur of west bengal burnpur of west bengal it is as managed by the public sector public sector clear third vishveshwarai iron and steel industry iron and steel industry रेहान आपको शायद समझ नहीं आया आपका कैमरा जब तक स्टार्ट नहीं होगा आई विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू आर स्क्री जो कैमरा इट शुड बी इन ऑन थर्ड विश्वेश्वर आय विश्वेश्वर आय Iron and Steel Limited, Vishveshwarai, Iron and Steel Limited, Vishveshwarai, Iron and Steel Limited, Vishveshwarai. Iron and Steel Limited, which is located at the Bhadravati, Karnataka, it is present at the Bhadravati, Karnataka. Bhadravati, Karnataka. Bhadravati, Karnataka. Same public sector. public sector public sector fourth bhilai steel plant b h i l a i bhilai steel plant bhilai steel plant bhilai steel plant bhilai b h i l a i it's in a chatisgarh it's in chatisgarh public sector public sector fifth raurkela steel plant raurkela steel plant raurkela steel plant Raurkela steel plant at Raurkela, Odisha, in Odisha, public sector, public sector, sixth public sector. Next is the Durgapur steel plant, Durgapur steel plant, Durgapur. steel plant place is adargapur in west bengal west bengal in west bengal bokaro steel plant next bokaro steel plant it's in a bokaro of jharkhand bokaro 
झारखंड बोकारो झारखंड इट्स इन अ बोकारो झारखंड नेक्स्ट सलीम एस ए एल ई एम एस ए एल ई एम सलीम सलीम स्टील प्लांट प्लेस इज अ सलीम स्टेट इज अ तमिलनाडु स्टेट तमिलनाडु इट्स ऑल्सो एज मैनेज बाय द पब्लिक सेक्टर मैनेज्ड बाय पब्लिक सेक्टर पब्लिक सेक्टर पब्लिक सेक्टर नेक्स्ट विशाखापट्टनम स्टील प्लांट विशाखापट्टनम स्टील प्लांट विशाखापट्टनम इज अ पोर्ट सिटी इन आंध्र प्रदेश विशाखापट्टनम लोकेशन विशाखापट्टनम स्टेट एज अ आंध्र प्रदेश पब्लिक सेक्टर पब्लिक सेक्टर नेक्स्ट विजयनगर विजयनगर स्टील प्लांट विजयनगर इन कर्नाटका विजयनगर इन कर्नाटका विजयनगर इन कर्नाटका विजयनगर इन कर्नाटका क्लियर नेक्स्ट दीज आर द टोटल टेन स्टील प्लांट इंटीग्रेटेड स्टील प्लांट विच आर एज फंक्शन अंडर द स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज द चाइना एंड इंडिया प्रोड्यूस ऑलमोस्ट द सेम क्वांटिटी ऑफ अ स्टील चाइना नाउ प्रेजेंटली एज अ चाइना इज अ लीडिंग प्रोड्यूसर एंड कंज्यूमर ऑफ अ स्टील इन अ वर्ल्ड मार्केट इन वर्ल्ड मार्केट टिल टू थाउजेंड फोर India emerged in 2004 India emerged as the largest exporter of steel largest exporter of steel in a world market clear now next as the India has not been able to the compete in a international market uh, and exploit her true potential due to the due to the challenges faced by the iron and steel industries so what are the challenges which are as a highly faced by the iron and steel industries in india first as high cost and limited availability of a cooking coal the best quality of a coal which has available in a limited in quantity limited in quantity due to as a low supply and a high demand this is as available at high cost high cost is the first problem associated with the iron and steel industries lower productivity of labor such areas of jharkhand chatisgarh odisha west bengal these are the densely populated areas a high density density of population is prevailing in such areas due to which as a poor economic background leads to the responsible for the low economic low productivity of labor low productivity of labor third as a irregular supply of energy due to as a high growth of a population generally as a electricity supply towards the settlement areas so due to the less availability of a power supply erratic power supply responsible for a responsible for the which has affecting the it is affecting the iron and steel industries next as poor infrastructure poor infrastructure poor infrastructure poor network of the so poor availability of a roads responsible for the low grade production of a in production of a iron and steel next obsolete machinery outdated machinery outdated machinery <coughs> most number of industries are located just after the independence means they cross the age of a 50 years so such type of older machinery responsible for a wastage of wastage of iron at the time of extraction processing at the time of extraction processing and manufacturing extraction processing and manufacturing 
manufacturing six problem associated with the iron and steel industries in india is a lack of research and development lack of research and development lack of research and development is overall adversely impact over the production modern technology which has now as a visualize in other economies of a world but still in india india is a lagging behind that's why as a most number of iron ore it is as the wasted it their optimum use is not occur in a present economy so due to which as a iron and steel industry is a suffer as a one of the most industries because of such challenges such challenges india opted the liberalization liberalization the government of india liberalized their policies for the fdi government of india it liberalized their policies for fdi foreign direct investment foreign direct investments from foreigners capital invest in a secondary and a tertiary sector for improving for improving the more number of a job opportunities as similar to the primary sector similar to primary sector so our government should allocate the funds for the research and development in producing the quality steel at competitive prices in international market after all once upon a time india it was as a steel giant producing the best quality of a best quality of a iron during as a british age through as the tesco and their examples it can be as a quoted from the past ashoka which as used a such kind of the iron around the 2300 years back such kind of a iron which was as a rasvi that ashoka spiller which is as a laid in a mehroli near delhi mehroli near delhi clear so these were as the iron and steel industries next as the aluminium smelting aluminium smelting if anybody want to ask any question they have to click their cameras <laughs> yes anybody want to ask any question aluminium smelting aluminium is extracted to the bauxite and that bauxite which is appears on a surface is concentrated on a surface too as the residual mass the question which was as a ask in a class test residual mass after the weathering processes when the rock rocks are breaking down easily as the bauxite <coughs> concentrated on the surfaces of the earth crust through the bauxite alumina extracted and through alumina as a aluminium extracted aluminium extracted which has showing on this process of a manufacturing in a aluminium industry <laughs> aluminium industry first as a alumina extracted to the aluminium afterwards alumina transform into the aluminium aluminium clear El india is one of the leading producers of a bauxite in a world market aluminium smelting is the second important metallurgical industry afterwards the steel industries steel industries aluminium is a universally accepted metal for a large number of industries because of its flexibility aluminium having its flexible nature second malleable flexibility and malleability second as a good conductivity of heat and electricity heat and electricity third it is a light in weight and inexpensive as a cheaper comparatively to iron aluminium is a cheaper comparatively to iron fourth resistance to the corrosion c o r r o s i o n so aluminium industry it has gained popularity as a sub subsequent to the steel copper lead and zinc in a number of industries there are the eight aluminium plants of india located in odisha eight aluminium plants located in odisha 
वेस्ट बंगाल केरल उत्तर प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ महाराष्ट्र तमिलनाडु तमिलनाडु फ्रॉम विच एज टू आर द पब्लिक सेक्टर एजेंसी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्मेल्टिंग ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इन आर कंट्री दीज फॉर्म आर द बालको एंड नालको भारत एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड बालको एंड नालको नेशनल एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड भारत एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड नेशनल एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड डीज टू पब्लिक सेक्टर एजेंसी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द responsible for the smelting of aluminium in our country so there uh, the ore of uh, aluminium as a bauxite which is also known as a weight losing industry aluminium smelting is also known as the weight losing industry weight losing industry why because the raw material required for the smelting of a uh, iron as a bauxite it is in a larger in quantity through the refinement afterwards we obtain the lesser aluminium lesser aluminium around 4 to 6 tons of a bauxite is required to produce the 1 ton of aluminium and which consumes as the 18 kilowatt per hour the units of electricity regular and uninterrupted supply of a power is must for aluminium production in our country clear there are the two major factors which are basically as a influencing the growth of aluminium industries in india are first reasons responsible for the aluminium industries the aluminium smelting in india are first assured and regular supply of electricity assured and regular supply of electricity second supply of raw material at low cost supply of raw material at low cost this was our smelting of aluminium next are the chemical industries chemical industries chemical industries occupies an important place in indian economy which contributes the 3% in gdp chemical industries contributes 3% in gdp of our country it is the third largest in asia and 12th largest in a world in terms of the size chemical industries these are the third in asia 12th in a, all over the world in relation to the manufacturing of our chemical products chemical industry of india is fast growing and diversifying industry it is as under the large scale and a small scale as well as under public and a private sector agencies rapid growth has been recorded in both inorganic and organic chemical industries heavy in organic chemicals include sulfuric acid sulfuric acid in organic substances like as the sulfuric acid sulfuric acid which has required for manufacturing of fertilizers synthetic fibers plastics adhesives paints etc paints etc nitric acid nitric acid <coughs> nitric acid third alkalis alkalis soda ash soda ash which is required for the making of glass soaps detergents and papers and papers and papers 
caustic soda required for the manufacturing of soaps and detergents soaps and detergents since the products are used widely used in a day to day life except them as the organic chemicals are also used in a petrochemicals for manufacturing of a synthetic fibers synthetic rubber plastics dye stuffs etc clear that's we will discuss on a tomorrow as fertilizer industries fertilizer industries any questions